Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post about skincare products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I post in-depth skincare reviews, for which the link will be down below. In this video, I'll be swatching and providing my first impressions of the Good Molecules Rose Water Cleansing Gel. I'll also be testing it for makeup removal, so stay tuned. Also, if you would like to support both the channel, Instagram and blog, then please consider becoming a patron today. There are different tiers with different benefits such as voting for product reviews and YouTube topics, as well as exclusive content and sneak peek access. This cleanser has a pH of 5.5, which should match the skin's pH, meaning it shouldn't strip the skin of its natural moisture too much. This is a weighty glass bottle with an open and closed twist pump. This is described as a gentle daily cleanser with soothing rose water, which is a diluted essential oil of rose oil. It supposedly contains some antioxidant and antimicrobial compounds. But I think the main reason why rose water is in here is to provide a nice relaxing scent. This is meant to be a gentle and soothing daily cleansing gel that is able to remove both SPF and makeup. I will test the makeup removal later. You're supposed to massage this into damp skin and continue massaging until a light lather forms. Good molecules do mention double cleansing. If you do double cleanse, then this is supposed to be used as your second step, either after a cleansing balm or oil. These are the surfactants that are used. And what's interesting about Good Molecules is that they list the percentage of the ingredients used. This also contains moisturizing ingredients like glycerin and pineapple fruit extract, which supposedly is also soothing. Good Molecules have used pineapple before in their exfoliating powder. If you want to see a swatch of that product, then I will leave the link below. The gel is quite viscous. It holds its shape and doesn't immediately run down my hand. It's quite thick but not sticky. In terms of the scent, it has a light soap aroma. When trying this on the face, you can see that this foams up when water is added. It didn't leave the skin outrageously squeaky clean or painfully tight. I wanted to see how well this could remove makeup, so I tried it with eyeliners of different shades from different brands. As you can see here, the product does foam up a bit when rubbing with a single finger, but if I used both hands, it would foam up a lot. The gel doesn't manage to remove every inch of the liner. So I wanted to try again with even tougher makeup. This is a liquid lipstick from Urban Decay and a regular lipstick from Espoir and another eyeliner. As you can see, it's easier to remove the eyeliner, but it's very difficult to remove the liquid lipstick and the regular lipstick. The lipsticks have barely budged. After rinsing with water, the purple lipstick has moved a bit, so it's not very good at removing lipsticks, and in particular, liquid lipsticks. So then, I followed Good Molecule's advice and double cleansed. So, I used the Muji Cleansing Oil. I know you're supposed to use a cleansing oil first, which is what I would normally do. So initially, I used the Good Molecule's Cleansing Gel, and now here is the Muji Cleansing Oil. I think the Good Molecules cleansing gel loosened the top of the jar, so the cleansing oil can really come in now and just wipe this makeup away. It's doing a really good job of dissolving the lipstick. After rinsing, you can see double cleansing with an oil removed the lipstick. So as you can see, this cleansing gel works well in a double cleanse if you want to remove makeup. I think if you simply want to remove SPF, then a single cleanse should be fine. But if you have dehydrated skin, 
then this perhaps may encourage that feeling of tightness in the skin. But I think those with oily skins could really enjoy this, and combination skins. I have heard dry skins say that they have enjoyed this cleanser, so I would recommend giving it a go, just as long as you're not sensitive to rose water. And that's it for this video! If you enjoyed it then please give it a big ol' thumbs up, and subscribe today for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!